Okay, we're live once again. Oops, great, there we go. So, come on. Close enough. All right, great. All right, so we're live once again. Yeah, and then we turned on the other camera, right? Okay, so uh, let me bump this over. I think that's right. Listen, whatever. All right. So, yesterday I took this machine all apart. Last night I put it back together. And it doesn't rewind or fast forward. I don't know why. There's something wrong with this particular example. But here, I just want to run through my happy little pictures again. Here's the keyboard. Okay. This is the Iowa CS300U. Okay. And let's see here. Yeah, I'm not in the way. Okay. So there's that. Um, that's the front of it. That's the top of it. And it's got, um, and this is very important right here, it's got a switch which says auxiliary and radio and then power off and tape. Stereo mono, metal tape and normal, soft touch, mechanical logic control. I can't stand logic control. Tone control, there's your volume. It's been well used. As you can see, it's all rubbed off. It's got FM, shortwave 2, and 1, and medium wave. There's your switch, your tuning knob, and like that, all right? And the next picture here is the most important part about this radio. Not a good picture, but that says auxiliary. That's your left and your right auxiliary. It takes a full-size quarter-inch headphone jack. You got your OSC, which is your, you know, for recording from whatever. Uh, and then there's your, it, this does have multi-voltage, you select it by sliding the little thing there. It's got an AC input, no DC input, okay? Moving along, there's the other side, there's the back. It takes 60 batteries, let me see if I can... So there's the model number, all you need to know is 10 watts consumption, approximately 2 watt. I didn't bring that up, did I? Well, anyway, there's... Um, can I do that real quick? Um, can I go to my PDF folder? That would be in this one. No. That would be in this one. Open new window. Where's your, all your PDFs? Wait, I thought I put it in here. Oh, I should have done this beforehand. It's not there. Wait. Oh, you did put, no, I'm sorry. It is in this other hard drive. No, not that. Where, are we in K? We're not in K yet. Here it is, all PDF. So go to all PDF, and then what is this? Iowa, so go to Iowa, and then we want what? Not that one, not that. Is this number, let's see, let's try this one. I don't think this has it in here. This is Iowa, R10, 250, 210, I have a 210. Wrong one, all right, let's try it again. Where is this? No, I don't want that one. That don't have it. Okay. Um, that was 1982, and I don't have 1982, do I? No. I, I could have sworn I had 19... Oh, I know. It's on the other computer. That's right. Well... Well, anyway, there's a there's a blurb about this in this year. Um, wait, oh, that's it. I have it labeled differently, and that just cut off. If you can see that, okay. 
This should be it. Open, yeah. And there it is. There is the model right over there. So we zip down to it. Yeah, I have. Well, I had this when I sold that. Let's see, I have this one. I have that one. I have that one. I don't have that one. I don't have that one. I have the. I had the 360 and I sold it. Let's see here. I have two of this right now. Okay, here's it. Okay, here is the CS300. So it says all this um, a variable cube circuit, all that. But it doesn't say okay two by four serial aux connection jacks. Okay, but it doesn't say line in. All right, that's what I was trying to point out to you. And if you go down here to your specs, where is it? Where is the 300? Okay, here's a 300. So it's two-way four-speaker four-band, and it doesn't it doesn't say. See, here's the line-out terminals, but it doesn't have line-out. It has line-in. Anyway, I'm just trying to explain that to you. But and then going down here to the specific features of it, it's got a low wow. The wow and futter is um, 0 0.08. Frequency response is 40 to 15k if you're using metal tape, or 40 to 12.5 like that. And it's got four and three quarter speakers, 12, se 12 centimeters uh, woofers, and two tweeters. Takes 90 batteries and like that. So, so much for that. Going back to my pictures, there's a battery compartment. It takes six screws. All right, and there's a, those parts. Cracked it open. Looks like that. You know, that's where the wires go and such. There's the inside back cover. And, oh, yeah. Let me go back to this. This has got a whole lot of controls for a whole lot of whatever. And so I'll get to that. So here is this just racing along. I took a bunch of pictures of this. Yeah, that's the two screws to hold the deck in place. Yes, I had to clean out a whole lot of gunk. That This was manufactured in uh, 15 April of 1983. All right, this 9-volt motor. All right, there you go. There's that. I'm just pointing out where the screws go. There's the old belt, and here's the, you know, still got tar on there, right? And there's the, the three inch belt there, and a five inch belt for the main belt. Yes, I cleaned the dust bunnies out of the speakers. And here's the back side of that thing. There's nothing on the back side of that except for the one stereo and operation light. So it's got nothing there. I thought that was amazing. And then this here. This is your famous idler tire. That tire goes between this and the take-up spool. So when this wears out eventually, that's a really, if you can tell that that's a diameter of the spool, that's a diameter of that. That's like what? Quarter inch in diameter, uh, 15 millimeters across or something. That's really tiny. But that's your idler tire in this machine. And why this doesn't work. Why this doesn't flip over from left to right to go fast forward and rewind, I don't know. Okay? And again, here's your idler tire. It works. Okay? It's a friction thing. And that's it. There's a flash picture of the front of this model. And like I was just playing this here, so now I want to wide out. Let's see, where's the... We'll just do it handheld. Okay. Do it handheld. Just... Bring that out. Okay, here I am. Come down to here. All right. And then go back to the Facebook people who's watching, if anybody. Hello. Hi, Hi Mom. Hi, can I show you something in the yard? Uh, can you do it in a few minutes? I'll be done with this in a few minutes. I'm shooting a video here. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Is it in the front yard or the backyard? No, it's in the backyard. I was pulling weeds in the, in the driveway or thing, and, and it, everything was wet in one area. And when I came out, that particular thing back there is was pointed that way. Okay. So, okay. All right. A little interlude there. Let's see here. So, here is. All right. So, let me move this down. I just want to show that. Okay. So, there's that. Perfect. And then, I'm full screen with this. So, here is that. Okay. And then, this is the. Okay, so this, 
So this kicked off, right? So this only plays. This here's the tape. Flip it over. Hit play. So this plays. This is your tone. That's all the tone. And that's playing at the right volume now. Here is a Fleetwood Mac, where we're we getting in trouble. This is a uh, TDK MAXG, okay? It's an alloy, anyway. Just drop this in here in less than a few seconds, so. Okay, and then kick that out, and then throw it on this side, give you. So that sounds right. That's all you're going to get. If you want to hear this yourself, you got to buy it yourself, right? Okay, and then there goes the stupid phone. Another person calling me. All right. Oh, I want. Okay, so now that. So now what I want to show you is if you play the radio. Details and tints and know how to make your system sound its best, whether you replace your old radio or not. Great. You heard works. that right. This is your stereo light right here, and your operation Last light, week, so it goes the out FBI when you're night. Night. Uh, so That works. This is um, what, shortwave one, or shortwave two, whichever. So, there could be something there. Here's this one, the other shortwave. Could be something, I don't know. Medium wave, yeah. To give us her new album, the way I feel about Olive Garden is the way others now, the mistakenly way feel about Chili's and Applebee's. And you plug like I think in. Chili's and Applebee's okay. are great, but I know there are people who are like, Let me put the antenna down. whatever. <laughs> That's how I feel about Olive Garden. You're indifferent yes, to the I, unlimited breadsticks. I am. When you plug, I am. When you plug six eight two. Who would help this person out? One channel I'm an idiot. Away. I thought Rocky so Balboa and one. Apollo Creed were real boxers. And then here's the, the other channel. So now there's no more radio, but it's in aux mode. All right. So now what we do is we get your your line in stuff, whatever you have plugged into your line in, and you go here, you go there, and you go to what we call music on this one. And then you can play whatever you want to play. So there's that. Of course, how do you do the volume on this? Right. The volume's all the way up, so. You get the volume here. You go. Sounds right. Did I mention it runs on batteries? So now no more power for it. It's free to go about. See, it's no longer plugged in, right? So, okay, so. Anyway, this is for sale if you're interested. Just give me a, send me a message either in Facebook or in YouTube because I've got both cameras going on here, right? So, that's all I want to show you. Now I gotta go. Anyway. Right, so, 
So I'm having fun. Good day. Bye bye. Right, so there's that. All right, people. So I hope you've seen all that. You understood all that. And uh, Joe Preet's watching. And uh, Sahiba Book said hello. I'm going to say good day. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Good night. All right. Good day. Bye bye. here right next never post that turn this thing off oh yeah here I turned forgot about the YouTube people okay so YouTube people I just uploaded this so, all right, so 1610 has been a short video. Good day. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Gotta go. Tend to mother. Bye bye. Wait, oh, wrong button. This button.